Now, earlier, we mentioned the point of the show was to get over the four pillars, and the results were mixed. This is the mixed portion. And by mixed, I mean sucked. Rush versus Jungle Boy Jack Perry. When this is over, when the match itself was over, there's a post-match thing we'll get to here, but I asked myself, outside of Jack losing, is there a plausible way that they could have made him look worse in this match? Because well, what happened was... They could have beaten him. Outside of him losing. Okay. Because Rush beat his ass and beat his ass and beat him bloody and beat his ass and taunted him and beat his ass and no-sold all his offense and beat his ass. And I'm watching this thinking, okay, Jack needs to make the greatest comeback of his career to save this thing. Suffice to say, Jack did not make the greatest comeback of his career. Rush is stomping him in the corner. The rush has to pull him off. I actually thought they were going to do a DQ for kicking too much ass. What they did was only marginally better. Roosh turned his back to argue with the referee. Jack schoolboyed him and held the tights and got a flash pin. As soon as that referee counted three, Roosh kicked out and beat his ass and beat his ass and beat his ass. And I thought, my God. Jungle Boy is the geek of the year here. Now, there is more. Preston Vance joins in. There's a rope there, and they're choking him and beating his ass and beating his ass. Darby tries to save, but he is also killed. So out comes Sammy Guevara to make the save. And Sammy, with a little help from Darby, but Sammy is the one who really saves the day. And they send these Rudos packing, and Sammy's catching his breath and looking around. And Darby is looking around, and, and they, they've already bumped fists. We know they're simpatico. And they both kind of look at Jack. And Jack, the whole time, has been down in the corner, useless. A completely beaten afterthought. So by the time this is done, I was 100% convinced that they are going to do a double term at, turn at some point. And maybe Jack will end up taking Sammy's spot in the, in the JAS. Maybe it'll have it at the pay-per-view. Maybe it'll start at the pay-per-view. I don't know, but... I can't imagine why they would book this this way unless Jungle Boy's turning. Nothing else makes any sense. Well, the impression I was given was the idea here was we were supposed to see what a tough guy Jungle Boy was. That failed. And, uh, you know. He looked like a guy seven levels out of his element who got lucky because the other guy screwed up. That's what it looked like. Last night, Dave, and granted the, the odds or whatever, but the odds for this match... MJF is a 50-to-1 favorite, okay? okay? Now, forget the odds. Does anyone here listening to this right now, does anybody believe that any of these guys are going to beat MJF? No. I do not know. Nobody does, okay? Now, I had the argument put forth to me today. Well, did anyone believe that Brian Danielson was going to beat MJF? And I think that most people knew that MJF was beating Brian Danielson. But it was Brian Danielson. And, you know, in your mind, it was like, well, you know, MJF's probably going to win. But, like, it's Brian fucking Danielson. If he wins, he's going to be a great champion. Right? Sure. Look at these other three pillars. MJF is doing promos talking about how he's miles beyond these three pillars. Nobody believes any of these three pillars are going to beat MJF for the title. I would say that maybe if you forced people and you said, you must choose a pillar that will beat MJF. You must choose one. You cannot say no. You must choose one. I think there are people who say with Darby, but I don't think that anyone actually believes that Darby is going to win. So you need to do everything in your power. To get all three of these guys over. Mm -hmm. Ideally, what you want people to think is, well, one of them is surely going to beat MJF. The question is, which one? We do not have that. And especially in the case of Jungle Boy, who has been the weakest promo. And, you know, I think that if you had to rank them, who do you think could actually beat MJF? I think most people would say Darby first, Sammy probably a you know a distant second. You know maybe if he turned or whatever, or, uh, Jericho helped or the Jericho whatever, and Jungle Boy dead last. Okay, 
Jungle Boy needs all the help he can get. He got none of that in this match. This match, as I'm watching it, like, I, I watched it and I thought, you know what? This is the most unprofessional match because Roosh should be working a match to get Jungle Boy over. He is not working a match to get Jungle Boy over. He's working a match to get himself over. I actually thought he may have gone into business for himself here. There, And you know what? I don't know what happened here, but, you know, Rush has been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. And he's a guy who doesn't always like to sell. And if you're in with a guy like Moxley, who is not going to take his shit, then he's going to sell and have a great match. But, you know... He ate Jack alive. Yeah. And he even did a spot, by the way. And I fucking hate... Have I ever told you how much I hate having to work for the hard cam? Mm. I'm going to have a speech about that on the NXT report as well again. But there was a spot where Jack put him in the... Um, whatever his submission is. What's it called? Snare trap. Snare trap. Yeah. He put him in the snare trap. And, and Roosh is like not facing the hard cam. Well, Roosh like, rotates around to face the hard cam, which puts him even further away from the ropes. But he made sure to be facing the hard cam so you could see him just drag himself valiantly to the ropes to break this guy's fucking finish. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? And it only went on from there. Yeah. And then the finish is he's given him such a fucking vicious beating in the corner that the referee has to pull him away to save Jungle Boy's life. Roosh yells at the referee to allow Jungle Boy to roll him up and pull the tights for the pin. And then he's immediately killed. Like, I could not believe my eyes. I just was like, what the fuck happened here? And yeah, at the end, when, when the other two pillars are, you know, they've cleaned the ring... Jungle Boy is sitting in the corner, and he has the same look on his fucking face that I had, which was the look of a guy that was like, fuck me. I just got fucking killed yeah. like a geek yeah. in this particular match here. Whatever the idea was, it absolutely did not work at all, unless the idea is, you know, I don't know. <laughs> this guy has no chance. No. If that was the idea, if you want to convince me he had absolutely zero chance, and it should be like 100,000 to 1 odds for Jungle Boy, well, then you accomplished it. But if the idea was to get him over, this did not get him over. And I am not the only one to uh, say this. I mean, no, nor I heard it be. from people there. I heard it from fans. I mean, this was not a good look for Jungle Boy tonight. This poor guy. So among those upset by this was MJF. He's backstage fuming. You mentioned he got a promo. Here. I was fuming too. He didn't cut a promo. He did not cut a promo. No. Renee tried to interview him. She asked him, how are you feeling about your championship? He smacked the mic out of her hand and stormed off. And that was it. He flew into town to do that. This plaque. I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, Bischoff. Paul and Bischoff or who? What in God's name is going on? Uh-oh. Who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. What? Oh, my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented to F4W that. Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh-huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big fat whale. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey! out there. Uh-oh. Hey! Uh what are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey, oh. I'm taking over the show! Oh no. Dom! Oreo. Hit that music, brother! Ah, oh, the hell with it. You know what? It's Monday. It's dance party. No, no, no. I love you guys! I love you! When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale! If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions 
of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.